Hey there, welcome back guys. This video is going to be for those that want to know how to update their home point on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. We're going to be using this remote controller that actually comes with the DJI uh, Mini 3 Pro. So just for reference, we're going to get started for the drone overheats. I'm going to lift it up and by default that should appear. We're going to lift it up again. So now the propellers are started. As you can see, uh, there's obstacle avoidance. It's activated even though we are in sport mode. Uh, we see that little red thing over there. But what we're really going to focus on is the um, home point updating experience. Okay? So most likely, home point updated. See that on the screen? And I'm just going to see where I am. And here I am. Okay? Aha! Here's your pilot. Um, so there are two ways the home point will be updated. So, as you can see on the map, here I am, right? Just gonna zoom in a little bit. Move the camera gimbal up a little bit. And see, there I am, that's as much as you're gonna zoom. So we're gonna go to the maps, okay? You see that there, the H? You have the home point updated to where the drone is, but you also have the option to update the home point to where the remote controller is, right? So I'm just gonna fly the uh, drone around so you can see me and watch the little blue dot move okay see that so I'm gonna go I'm gonna move the drone a little bit and then turn it this way move it up I'm gonna go in between the trees and let the drone move up a little bit it's really tricky with the tree line okay so here I am right so I'm gonna move the home point move the drone down a little bit lower a little bit up so you can see to let's say where the street is right so here I am right now see that so see if I can zoom in this is close as it'll get so now we're on the map again see here I am on the street right on the sidewalk I'm gonna go back to the map so now I want to update the home point to where I move to because maybe I move someplace that's wide open, no trees, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to click on that little hamburger menu on the side, okay? And whoops, I clicked once too many. And if you're at about, that's fine. You have about, transmission, camera, control, safety. You want to be in safety. And then scroll down a little bit, right? You don't want to disable anything. Um, see where it says update home point right there? You're going to click that. And then this screen will appear. Just wait a little bit for the map to load. So now, you see on the top right hand corner, I have the drone or the remote control receiver. I'm going to click remote control receiver. See how the home point changed? The H is now where the blue dot is. So I'm going to click OK. And home point updated. See that? On the maps in real time, home point updated. So when I click return home, it's gonna bring the drone back here, right? So let's say I want to reverse it. It's gonna move in a little bit. Got some noise from the truck. So let's say you want to reverse it. You want the home point to be there and the drone to be over there. Really easy. Um, let's go back to where I was. Now that the ambient noise is out of the way. Okay, so now I'm back to where I was. So you want to reverse it. Reversing it's really easy. Click on the hamburger menu again. If you're right about transmission, camera, control, safety. Okay, click update home point. So now, by default, drone is already selected. So you're just gonna click okay. Okay, and then it's flipped back. And that's that. So the other way to do it, let's say I'm gonna be somewhere else. I know I'm gonna be down there. Pray that the GPS on the maps is actually correct. Right. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the little hamburger menu thingy again. If you're at about, transmission, camera, control, safety. Okay. Scroll down until you see update home point. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the map to where I think or hope I'm going to be. So if you know your maps really well and you know the location, if it's an open field, you're good to go. So I'm going to move it to right there. So that's where I'm going to be. That's my new home point. And as you can see, if I scroll on the map, that's where it is. And make sure you have enough battery. See, I'm at 78%, right? So basically, that's where my home point is going to be. And there should be enough. I got 19 minutes flight time. 
I either have to make sure I'm there or, or I'm already there, right? Um, before anything continues. So again, I can reverse it. So now I'm gonna go over here to where it's really quiet, right? And swap the drone. So now, bye-bye. I'm just gonna move the drone to that part of the sidewall. Okay, just lower it a little bit. And just go past the fence. And whoops, turn it around. Okay, and as you can see, now I'm there, right? And the home point is all the way down there. So I'm just gonna move, let's say, further down here. Make sure your timing and battery is where it needs to be. So I'm here, see the blue dot moved. So now I'm gonna click on the hamburger menu and update home point. Okay, so I'm going to click to where the receiver is because I moved. Click OK, see the home point changed. Click all right. And now, see on the map, I'll just move it down a little bit. The home point is actually where the blue dot is, is which is where you actually want it to be. Okay? Just gonna bring the drone in. It's a little windy. At least it's not rainy. Um, where I am. Lower it a little. And that's it. That's how you update the home point on the DJI Mini 3 Pro using the receiver that came with it. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. And remember to subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.